Hey everybody, I have got a little project here and I do this quite a bit. This is a set of uh, fluorescent bulbs and they're getting harder to find, these little bulbs for these 12 volt lights. And up here in my RV, my big Jayco, I have got one of the old fixtures. You see it's got the electronics. They're quite a bit inefficient, so they take more power than you actually think. And if you're running off of battery power, these things here are just taking a significant amount of energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this, and I'm going to take it into the shop, and we're going to convert it to LED. Pretty simple. It's not very hard using a lot of its own hardware. Okay, so let's see what we can get done here. So I got this in my shop, and I've got it laid out for the kind of lights we're going to use. Warm white 2900K, which is a fairly nice, smooth light, and it much nicer light than this fluorescent uh, price these out and I'm sure whoever's gonna see in here oh you can get them for whatever um, it was six dollars to replace the bulbs two ninety nine a piece um, and I looked at the option of course I don't like the fluorescent because this little sucker right here okay with that chip on there really really has a chip on the shoulder because it makes my phone and my Wi-Fi act crazy and the reason I know that is because fluorescent lights do that so I disconnected this turned the power off to it and all of a sudden I could pick up the Wi-Fi from my house from inside the trailer I turned it back on and it was gone but I figured out what the problem was it's creating a signal it's competing so it has to go now additionally this pulls to make these two little eight watt bulbs light up, it pulls three and a half amps the whole time it's running. This over here, when I'm on battery power, is only going to be pulling a half of an amp. So although it's only using seven watts of power, it's going to make more light than these make without creating problems so you see what I've got here I've got two of these and I'm going to be gluing them in and also using their adhesive backing which you know it's not great so I spot the corners with some of this welder glue we're going to put this in and then I'm going to put some of the glue to secure these pieces on here too that welder sticks to aluminum like you wouldn't believe it's awesome stuff and if you uh if you're interested in any of these parts, look down there at the bottom of the video. I always put them down. You can go on there and see the different sizes and the different ones I use. And I believe these are uh, 34, 28 or something like that, which is basically 3.4 millimeters wide and and 0.2 or and 2.8 millimeters high or whatever. So you, know, you get an idea what how they do that math on them. And if you want to look over here. These are called SMD 5050s, so they're five millimeters wide and five millimeters tall, but they don't create a good enough pattern to go inside of this diffuser that'll be mounted back on here. They don't make a good enough pattern to like it, make it a full light all the way across the way these do. So these actually, in my behalf, are better. Warm white, nicer, smoother light without causing any glare like these do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish so that we have this all removed and um, it's just a matter of removing all the old hardware that's on it and taking it out and that's all the parts that were originally with it uh, pretty much the same as most of your AC systems because that's what this thing's made to do now and it burns a lot of power to do that so I've got it set up to where my switch will once again be able to operate it and where I'm using just standard speaker wire, oxygen free, uh, tinned on one side and copper on the other. And I know everybody's gonna say, oh, that's a fire hazard. Uh, you know, this will carry me to 18 amps. And we're talking a half an amp, so chill out. Um, a lot of people do it. You can run a 100 watt stereo through that. It's not gonna burn with a, for a half an amp. All right, so now seven watts of power coming in, as much brightness, equal brightness, as about a 45 watt bulb coming out of these. And that's great for where it's gonna be mounted over my kitchen sink. Now, so let me get all this put together and I'll show you these fully glued and ready. And like I said, you just use the welder and I'll point out where I've used it. 
and attach the wires accordingly to their positive and negative fields. All right, let me get that finished here. Okay, now we've got it all glued and spotted, and you can see the little spotting on there that I've done on the corners and a little bit right here on the wires and I put a piece of tape over it where I put a little glue spots along these wires so that they'll secure and not go anywhere as well as any of the other fittings and things. Now I even put some around where the wire passes through the metal. This is a this welder glue is is quite good for isolating electrical contacts. It's um it's a good insulating compound. So we have this all hooked up now, and I've got it over here on my, where I hook up my batteries for charging. So it makes a perfect compound for when you want to isolate and also glue things in. And these, of course, have the 3M patches on the back that helps it hold it down, but uh, I don't like them a whole lot. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on, and you'll see the brightness, probably blind you. All right, and put on the diffuser which we have the other end inside the trailer there and you'll see that it is a very nice powerful bright light and my phone is going into dimming mode trying to block that level of light that's what we're going to have underneath and I'll show you with it mounted how much nicer it looks all right now we're back in here and we've got the light fixture mounted so you'll be able to see how nice and bright this thing is and how well lit it makes everything as far as the sink and giving yourself enough light to see by and the good thing is is that when those fluorescents are harder and harder to get these leds which would probably last as long as the trailer will uh they're easy to find and it's a very easy adaption so if you see up in there and see how nice that came out it is quite bright very nice lit and no reason not to be able to convert yours to use a lot less power and be able to run on battery a lot easier than those fluorescents did. And once again, it will not mess with your radios, your cell phones, your AM FM stereos, or your MP3 with broadcasters. It won't mess with them. And that's the way to fly. All right, y'all guys be good. Set yourself up, get you a pair made. You can convert almost any light fixture to LED.